The Transport Minister has seemingly taken a swipe at the Office of the Contractor General following the report about the sale of UDC lands and the rooms on the Beach Hotel to Mexican investors. The controversial report pointed out that the government sold the property for about $5 million US dollars less than its highest valuation. It's also stated that Minister Without Portfolio Darrell Vaz interfered in the transaction, preventing the Urban Development Corporation UDC from negotiating freely with Pe Pe Porta Caribe Properties Limited. Without making reference to the specific transaction, Robert Montague made this comment at a recent function in Montego Bay. In facilitating business, we will have to give a little inducement here and there, a little encouragement, because incentives have to be given depending on how much you want the business. Now, having said that, if you see my name being subject to a report from the former contractor general, don't think bad of me. But in this world, in a third world country, a growing economy, where everybody is competing for the investment dollar, you better bring something to the table. It is not only about the sale of an asset, because the current value of an asset is not normally the only value for an asset. There is the goodwill component that the owner of the asset would have put into developing the asset and how the relations with customers, and there is the future earnings. So if you're only talking about the current value of an asset, you're not talking business. Meanwhile, the Transport Minister says the government has received two applications for a ferry service in Jamaica. To operate Montego Bay Negril, Montego Bay Otrios, Montego Bay Kingston, and one person has on their medium term Otrios Santiago de Cuba. So we are actively examining that because if you integrate these services, you will find that somebody will fly into Jamaica, utilize Mobe Airport, jump on the ferry to Otrios, and then ferry over to Cuba. There are also plans to redevelop the rail service in the Spanish town Linstead Old Harbor sections of St. Catherine to transport school children. The lines from Linstead to Spanish Town is intact, and the line from Linstead to Old Harbor is intact. And I've said to them, you have the trains. Let us start up a school train service to pull the children out of Spanish Town in, on a phase basis and to tie that in with the JUTC. So once the train gets into Spanish Town, our children get on the bus and we take them to school and in the afternoon you do the reverse. Robert Montague was speaking at a recent function at the Sangster International Airport in St. James to officially open a renovated check-in terminal. That we are in the final bits of no negotiation with two companies to reintroduce scheduled domestic flights into and across Jamaica. And <laughs> Robin, you can tell your father that at least one will start before some face. Because we're trying to fit it within the, the product so that you, we, we need to give our people options.